Do you believe the NFL got this right? Uh, Molly, I don't believe the NFL got it right. I think this is an opportunity for the NFL to show that it had learned from its past mistakes with not standing up for women and supporting women, whether it be what happened with Daniel Snyder and the Washington football team down there, the, the commanders that they are now, or whether it be Ben Roethlisberger or other cases like them. The NFL didn't do that. They failed miserably in this moment. And I've listened to you guys talk for the past couple hours. And, and Stephen A., you know, I, I believe that the point of emphasis shouldn't be on the games. It's not about six games to 11 games or no fine to a $5 million fine. It's about what Sue L. Robinson ruled. So for the he said, she said crowd out there or the he said, she said, she said, she said crowd, I understand that you are innocent until proven guilty. But when he goes to arbitration and the findings from Sue L. Robinson, those are binding. Those are now facts. And she ruled that his behavior qualified as sexual assault. She ruled that his behavior qualified as sexual misconduct and that he was a danger to those women in that room. So now the conversation shifts from, hey, it's he said, she said, she said we don't know what exactly what happened. We weren't in those rooms. But that judge ruled that this is what happened. And to me, at a minimum, Deshaun Watson should have been suspended for a season, and that's still not a win for the NFL. But by them compromising and going to 11 games and $5 million, they're showing you that, yes, we are the National Football League, and we don't want this to draw out. This was a business decision for the NFL, and I think we are missing the point and not pointing to the facts of what the judge ruled and also not taking into account that, yeah, Deshaun Watson looked uncomfortable in that press conference yesterday. But did he ever once think about how uncomfortable he was making those massage therapists in those rooms? I don't think he did. And I think that we are focusing way too much on the business aspect of this and not on what this man did. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.